Hello, this is Sam Drinks Beer, and this is the beer review. So, a bit of a weird one today. I'll be reviewing this. It is To Wanna Build a Snowman by Totally Brewed, based in Nottingham, and it is a Mexican Goza. Now, before we get into what's in this Goza, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Gozas. Um, I would probably said a year ago it was a style I absolutely hated. You know, I thought salty beers, gross. Why? Why would anyone want to drink that? Some of it, some of it was meant for refreshment. Why would you want salt in it? But in the last sort of six months or so, I've had I've had a few gozers that have actually been pretty good. Like I've had one by this brewery, uh, Member Berries. Um, I had I think I've had the Sour Pod by Staggering and Good. That was excellent, and a couple of brew by Numbers one. So and uh, Brew York did one as well. Um, the the Black Forest Black Forest Gozer. That was it. So. Yeah, so interesting to see what this is. Now, the in this goza we've got jalapeno chili peppers, cinnamon, cumin, limes, and obviously salt, yeast, and hops, bar and barley and oats and everything. But but for the young, it's it's so yeah, it should it should be a bit a bit of a kick on this one. Um, I've had this in my fridge for a couple of few months now, actually, and I've sort of been putting it off. I thought, I mean, like, I don't. I bought it with a few others from this brewery, and I was just, mm, do I? I was just like, I've never, I don't. I'm not sure. I fancy a uh, gozer with chilies in it. But here we go. Let's let's crack it open. It doesn't have terrible reviews on tap, so it must be drinkable. Let's crack it open and see what it smells like and looks like in the glass. Interesting smell. So, balls are yellow. Maybe a bit darker. Yeah, sort of straw coloured. One finger, white head. Quite good levels of carbonation. There it is in the glass. Yeah, so it's sort of a, it's sort of got darker actually, I think. So it's sort of yeah, an orangey colour. Hmm. It does smell a bit sort of fiery. It's a sort of a bit of a chilly kick and it's sort of got that goes it goes a taste smell taste smell rather sort of that sort of spicy herbal sort of I'm picking up a bit of the cinnamon. Definitely. And the sort of the lime. And yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a sort of chilli kick in there. But yeah, real sort of... Gosh, yeah, actually it's getting more prominent, I think, as it settles in the glass and the head disperses. There's a real chilli kick to the smell. So uh, yeah, let's dive into this Mexican Goza. Yeah, it's there's a lot of sort of herbal herbs and sort of spice flavors going on. I feel the chilies come in a bit more on the finish actually. Yeah, the lime lime with a lot of lime, and it was definitely I could get the sort of cinnamon and the cumin on the initial taste. It's quite savoury. It's like a real. Yeah, real sort of tangy, sort of chilli like finish, I'm guessing from the jalapenos. It's not like hot, or hot and sort of spicy, but it's definitely got a flavour. 
I've had I've had chili in beers before, but never in a pale beer. Well, sorry, a sour beer rather. You know, I've had them in. I've had a few stouts with them in. I think they work in stouts because you got because you usually have the chocolate notes and you get chili and chocolate, and they usually are accompanied by chocolate as well. But interesting, this one. Though. Funnily enough, I don't think it is the weirdest goes out there, particularly when uh, Northern Monk are putting out prong cocktail crisp flavoured goes, but <sighs> I wouldn't say it's unpleasant, it's drinkable. It's interesting, interesting flavours. Really interesting flavours. <sighs> and the finish really really does last. It's Yeah, sort of chewy, sort of. Very carbonated. Um, it's not the saltiest goes I've had. There is a bit of that sort of salt, sort of salty kiss, if you call it that. Uh, but yeah, it's. it's uh, um, I mean, the chili is def the sort of jalapenos are definitely getting more prominent. The more I drink it, and the cumin's very prominent as well. It does sort of have very much sort of almost has a bit of sort of you know sort of the aftertaste you get in your mouth sort of after like a curry or Indian food. It sort of has a it sort of reminds me a little bit of that. It's it's very savoury. I suppose I mean goes as a beer style are quite savoury compared to sort of it yeah, you know, it's this your standard sort of it's, it's sort of basically the polar opposite of a pastry sour, really. I mean you don't get wrong, you do get gozers which are ridiculously sweet see what staggeringly good they're doing but I thought I think your more sort of traditional style German Goza is very much sort of a it's quite a savoury beer really it does a, some of them do yeah a lot of them do have fruit flavours and stuff but the salt with the salt obviously it yeah it does sort of give sort of like a savoury type thing hmm Like I mentioned earlier, I do have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Gozers. Um, yeah, some of them I absolutely adore. Some of them I just sort of think they taste like sweat off a labourer's back. But... <sighs> so, the brewery, Totally Brewed in Nottingham. I basically put an order of them a few months ago now. Like, all the other beers I think I've long gone. Based on their artworks, I just saw their artwork. I think they came up on the Facebook ad, really, and I saw the artwork, and I thought, tell you what, these beers might be crap, but <laughs> for that art, I'm going to give them a go. And yeah, they've, they do some decent stuff. I think they're a bit not as well, the most well known Nottingham brewery, because you've obviously they've obviously got other, you know, got Neon Raptor and a few others around that neck of the woods, but. <sighs> Yeah, this is, is they do some interesting stuff. Like they do a few sort of interesting stouts and you know and sour beers. And but yeah, the artwork's quality. I mean, is very much based on the uh, Disney film Frozen. I think with the name and yeah, with the artwork, you've got a bit of a sort of maybe a twisted Mexican sort of style <laughs> of it. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it's for five point four percent. This beer, best before first of July. Um, I totally brewed. We like to pack our beers with flavour. Our fearless approach to brewing means we're not afraid to look past the traditional brewing techniques and have fun with gutsy flavour combinations. This beer is totally brewed. So yeah, like I mentioned, they do do some sort of interesting sort of beers, really, with some weird and wonderful stuff. But yeah. One more sip of this one. 
It's a tough one to review because it is quite an experimental beer. I think they have pulled it off. Is it a beer I would go out and have again? I'm not sure. I don't think so. It, it's very much sort of one of them sort of one-off beers you have just just to say wow look what they've done they've done this is interesting you know and you you know it and yeah i, I like a bit of a little bit of something a bit different it's it's good but no i probably wouldn't go for have this again if i'm being brutally honest but i don't think it's a sort of beer you would go oh i'm gonna buy a 12 pack of to want to build a snowman it's it's 100 percent not you know you're not going to have a sesh on jalapeno, cinnamon, cumin, lime, goza. So, or, go, or any goza, really. Um, to rate it. Interesting flavours. It, it delivers what it sets out to deliver. Uh, you know, it's got... Fairly, it's got an okay body, really good finish, but that really lasts. Um, tough one to rate, you know, you want to give them points for the, for what they've, you know, for pulling it off, what they're going for, and it's, you know, it's accurate to the description. Uh, you know, whether, you know, I do, for, but if I was to, let's, I'd probably give them, let's go, let's go 3.5. Let's go 3.5 out of 5 because, well, you know, well, I, I wouldn't say it's a beer I'd definitely drink again, you know. It's a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, it, you know, it's gutsy, it's bold, it does what it sets out to do. So they need, they deserve points for that and... You know, they've it, it's complex, you know, they've got, a, you know, the finish is, I mean, I've still, I haven't sipped it for, what, a good minute, and, you know, I've still got the flavour in my mouth, but, you know, it's, yeah, 3.5 out of 5. This has been the review of To Wanna Build a Snowman by Totally Brewed. If you like this video you know what to do i have other videos <laughs> uh like and subscribe if you wish uh feel free to drop a comment let me know your thoughts and follow me on instagram at sam drinks beer yt and yeah if you want you can have me untapped as well it's sam drinks beer 93 cheers see you next time